I tell you what, this film did a very lot of tie pulling, yanking you in all different directions, and man, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Let's jump into my review of the new film, Deer Camp 86. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Deer Camp 86 which made its world premiere at Screen Fest 2022. So yeah, this, this film gives you a lot. You know, I, I believe the, end, the, the beginning of the film gives you this sort of found footage sort of feeling and you got these six homies coming together in the bar doing what they got to do, having fun. You know, kind of just, they're bros until they run into another group of folks who are racist. So like, here's my thing. You went with the bro stuff, you're like, oh, this is going to be a comedy. And then when you start getting the racist aspect of it, you're just like, oh, this is kind of cringy. Not the film, but like the interaction. And, and so like, you know, that makes you feel some type of way. But for whatever reason, they were able to balance that with some horror. It just was a lot going on in this film in terms of the different meshing of tonings that for whatever reason, it worked. <laughs> I, I enjoyed this film. I really didn't think I would. But uh, yeah, again, um, in the fall of 1986, you got these six knuckleheads from Detroit and they travel to partake in their annual traditional deer hunting. Where again, they go out in the woods, they get drunk and they hunt some deer. I, you know, I didn't know this was like a tradition. I thought that, I mean, maybe it is because I know folks have done this before, which I think is just completely reckless and not something I would ever do. But uh, yeah, they go out there and they do their thing. And, um, you know, one thing leads to the next, but I feel like the synopsis definitely leaves out like a couple of really critical points. Like number one, when they go to this bar where they all catch up at and that's when they start pounding some beers and whatnot and they run into that other racist group. You know, there's a there's a bartender there and she's an indigenous, an indigenous woman, um, a native at that. And you know, she's a sweetheart. She takes the light, she, she, she takes the light to one of the, 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 the good six and one of the racist folks is definitely being racist towards her it's a shit show that's just what it is um and she's murdered and now the investigation leads to think like okay who was all there they think could it be these other six folks that came from detroit these out-of-towners or could it be the racist folks? they're just trying to get to the clue of it however because of this you know very untimely murder and situation that happened and obviously this is a really upsetting to the the one guy that was really digging her you know now the tone of the trip is a little off but beyond that too yeah uh this seemed to have awakened awakened what i like to call a folklore here because there had already been whispers about a particular little spirit or or something in the woods that seeks revenge every once in a while what causes it how does it happen all these things are going to be answered in the film so it, it you know when you when you when you when you have already this dynamic of these rednecks versus this group of shitheads as they call them uh and then you got this other bystander of a spirit that comes through and and and, and targets anybody it becomes a very unpredictable film because now you're playing like triangle defense or offense <laughs> and trying to determine your own safety for this trip that they still are trying to go forward with even though all the signs are saying you probably shouldn't so yeah it, you know once the supernatural element gets uh, brought into this film the film just gets completely crazy um and 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 you know from from wes who met the bartender and star and found out that she was murdered and kind of like feeling a little bit of sympathy for him like dad like my man was like having some good he stood up for her and, and and all of that just for her to be murdered and now he was potentially you know could have been a witness to this and how or what he could have done to, to make things different it's a lot to kind of factor in but he's like metabolizing all these things meanwhile there's a spirit out there looking for anybody <laughs> so there's that uh and, and and so um you know the film gives you this very campy a very hilarious vibe to even the seriousness of everything that's happening the character buck who's played by jj bidwell is easily to stand out here from his banter um just every moment that this film could potentially be dull 
This character, Buck, absolutely delivers a laugh. Absolutely delivers commentary that anybody watching the film is probably thinking. I mean, I could not have seen a better written character in the film at this festival this year. This, this character had so much energy uh, and, and, and JJ in, 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 in his performance here just really stepped into this role and had an amazing time. You can tell uh, up and down the board with everything that's happening that you just could not wait to see what he may say next. Uh, so there's that. But I, I think too that um, this, 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 this film does focus a little bit on the psychology of like this supernatural being, like understanding like why this being does what it does, you know? Why and who uh, do they attack when necessary? So like, you know, it's, 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 it's raunchy. It, it has its bro moments. The banter uh, for certainly between the bros is definitely on lock. Uh, tons of beer. So, you know, you get get that aspect of it as well too. It even gets a little gory. And, and, I, and, I, and I think that even with the gore, it never really takes itself serious. It always maintains a level of just comedy to it. Uh, and, and, and I thought that the monster reveal, um, you know, I, I thought that, yeah, you know, it, it, it kind of gives you a little bit of a slasher feeling, like a traditional slasher film, um, but not so much traditional. Little tweaks to it that kind of really makes it its own. But here, here's what's really was the surprise to this film. With everything I'm saying, because you know, I'm sounds like I'm just having something saying something that's just is with no context and it's just a film for entertainment. It actually has a super duper important subject matter here. So with all the shenanigans, it certainly still makes a point to put the emphasis on missing indigenous women and the awareness of that. And I thought that was a very nice touch to kind of leave this film out on to kind with everything that's happening to to educate you that like while this incident or what happened in star this seems like a, a plot point that sometimes these things just really do happen and there is really no you know support or 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 or, or anything for these women so beyond it, it being you know in a sense of murder or just a sense of just kidnapping indigenous women go missing and the fact that they're bringing awareness on that and they put a couple of scenes in here to really put a a, a focus in and on that i i and and, and and the educational aspect too i thought it was really dope i really thought it was really really dope i seen another film last year that did something like this um and so co continue to spread this message i think is to the utmost importance and you can still do a comedy film with some horror uh, and, and still educate uh, within it and it worked and I, that's what I thought this film did a fantastic job and like really saying like hey you know wanted to give y'all something that you can enjoy but also want to make sure you understand why I wanted to make this film and I thought like the, the director chef's kiss that's a, a very amazing touch here so I really enjoyed this film Deer Camp 86 listen just one thing to take away from this film JJ Bitwell needs to be on your radar I got to see more films here got to see more films than this guy so funny in 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 his acting a buck that oh man i just i got i just got to see more i got to see more but yeah folks jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about this film when you check it out and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon